Okay, Ipamekskanato ni. Good morning. It is late morning, almost 11 o'clock on Sunday, August 13th, 2017, in the lunar cycle Okonogisto Tsitsits. I am on my way here to the university campus where apparently there is a rattlesnake by the gate of the community garden. So hopefully it's still around when I get there and I can usher it off to a safer place. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a rattlesnake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll grab my bucket. <laughs> Would there be? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a whole population of them here on campus. <laughs> yeah. Snake, I was like, get back here! <laughs> and then I realized it was a snake. And I freaked out and thought, it's a rattlesnake. But it didn't make any noise and I couldn't see a rattle on it. Yeah. It looks like it might have been chopped. Yeah, they, uh, there's a couple of snakes around here on campus that are missing their rattles, actually. That one, definitely. Yeah. I could see, um, it looks like it was Yeah, pred Die. predators. Predators take them off sometimes. Really? Yeah. Who would be predatory to them? Oh, lots of animals. Oh, yeah. Coyotes, skunks, badgers, hawks, owls. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's got a good rattle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a big, big female snake, looks like. Yeah. Okay, it's nice and fat, gopher fed. <laughs> Okay, so this is a beautiful, mature female rattler, uh, prairie 
Rattler. I'm not sure if I've seen her before or not. I'll have to check my database. Uh, but she's pretty large. And actually, ooh, she's got blood coming out of her from something. I don't know why she's bleeding, but she does have blood coming out of, uh, maybe out of her cloaca, something around her tail, and that's not good. I have, uh... I have no idea what that is unless unless there's a possibility that um, that she's a pregnant female and that um, she's supposed to be given birth because this is the time that they give birth and you know if you if you agitate a pregnant female near to when she's given birth um, she can abort the birth right and I've I've, uh, I've seen abortions rattlesnake abortions out in the coolies before. Um, given that that's the case, I'm going to take her to a different location. I think I'm going to take her right to a den site rather than uh, letting her go elsewhere. At least that way she'll she'll be able to go uh, underground. And if she's having, if she happens to be uh, having neonates, having young, then uh, she it's best that if she has them uh, there, close to there. So yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'll take her elsewhere. Okay, so I don't know quite what's going on with this snake, but my my only um, working hypothesis right now is that. She's a pregnant snake and the stress is inducing something. So I brought her to a rookery site um, to release her. There's actually neonates here on site and another mother. But that's that's fine. They often will um, use a use a rookery communally. But I'll leave her here. I think this is where she has the best bet. Uh, 